What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, LSR254. Me and you tune in for another one. Make sure you click the bell. Make sure you subscribe. 10,000 subscribers. We're doing a giveaway. Tell your mom and them, sis and them, ain't any else. Shout out to Stitch by Slick. Whew! All right. So, getting ready to go to the junk yard. I'm saying I got that ram. You can hear it in the background. Uh, basically, what we about to do is uh, go out here and try to see if we got the steering column. A lot of people was telling me about like a G-Body, a uh, G-Body upgrade for the, uh, for the steering column or whatever, come off G or some shit like that. So, uh, what I'm finna try to do is go get said parts and then come back. I don't know if we're gonna install it today, but I need to just go out there and see if they got it. If not, if they don't have it, then all right. So far, so really cut off by the uh, by that. Uh, so basically, like I said, I'm gonna try to go out here get the steering shaft. Uh, comes on from what I believe and from my research. Uh, 84, 1984 to 1994. Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Cherokee, Cherokee, like a Cherokee. Uh, <laughs> cut, cut, cut. All right, so for real, for real. Uh, 84 to 1994 Jeep Cherokee. Um, part number that I came up with was uh, 471. Three nine four three. Uh, so that's the part number I'm going to be researching to try to find it. If I'm not able to find it at the yard, of course, junkyard is always going to be your cheapest option. However, junkyard don't already have it, or other people already be on the game, and, and you get out there, you go to get some, and then it's gone. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, but however, comma. The steering column shaft for this is so aftermarket. Get yeah. damn nigga, what you want? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um soon uh there are two potentials. Uh we're gonna head out to the yard, go out there and see what's up happening. And then after that we're gonna come back and we're gonna address, like I told you, the um the leaking problems that we have and with these fucking transmissions and get them shit sealed up and then so they're good to go so I can stop buying my fucking transmission for it because that shit ain't cheap so let's get it all right man so we out here at the yard I spared y'all the <laughs> I spared y'all the fucking drama y'all just get to see all the good shit while I do all the work 1990 G Cherokee Cherokee uh, had a listing for two of them. One was a 90, one was a 91. And yep, you see it. Actually, it was just like one bolt because the bottom was already detached and gone. So all I had to do was get that top bolt off. Steering column was already kind of down and down. I just finagled and ripped some shit off. <clears throat> I got some other shit I need to do today. Like I said before, I gotta get back home, check on these seals. I gotta go check on some other shit too. Might be a little surprise. Might be a little surprise hidden later in the video. Keep watching though. You never know. You know your boy always up to something, man. So, uh. Yeah, I'm looking around a little bit more, but for the most part, I got what I came for. Steep gen, Jeep steering shaft. Uh, I'm gonna check that other Jeep, man, see if he got one on me. I don't think it do though. All right, so <clears throat> I know we said it's only the jerk, the Grinch. I know we said it's only the Cherokee, not the Grand Cherokee. And it's like 84 or something. This was a 93. Uh, and this one 
I want to say it got that stendo on that bitch. This is the other one. Uh, Cherokee 86 to 01, whatever. But that bitch is, as you can see, is already missing. So, yeah, Stern Shaft. I should have gone on this one. So, I guess your boy just got lucky. God, shine on your boy. Oh, this shit is gone. Oh, snap. Got the roof in bitch. I don't know nothing about a Jeep with a Jeep with the roof in that bitch. But yeah. Leather seats. You know what I mean? I've been looking for something. I was kind of looking at these fucking spindles. I don't know if it'd be the same. I think, I think these is only single piston anyway. So this, yeah, that wouldn't be no upgrade. <clears throat> I'm saying the more, the more you pay attention to some shit. You know what I'm saying you can, you can do some math. So one plus one equal two shit. You can figure, you can figure it out. So I know that this one, I know this is that, that bitch is kind of like a stendo. I think somebody said that bitch will work, but you gotta do some work to it. But I mean, I found the one I need, so I guess it ain't no, it ain't no use of grabbing this one. But yeah, this one collapsed back off in there. There's only one screw, like I said, I really don't need that bitch. I don't want to get that big anyway. Y'all know me, man. <laughs> Fucking hoarders anonymous when it comes to some of these car parts. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. let me see. let me just see how difficult it would be. Nah, fuck that, bro. We finna go. I got this. I got shit to do. All right. So so many hours later. Um. Actually, it's a whole nother day. We came back from the junkyard. Got sidetracked doing some other stuff yesterday. And now it's like Super Bowl season or whatever. But you know, we got other stuff we focused on. Like this fucking, this shit. I don't know why. Or what comes a leak. Oh, why so bad? I know that. So, I think that something that big could only be from one thing, and that's a dipstick tube seal. So, uh, that's what I picked up. I'm going to get it right quick. All right, so I got the seal. That's the part number 760014. Uh, it's just your regular, regular, regular transmission dipstick tube seal. And like I said, I hope this is a problem. I kind of had the same issue with uh, my Tahoe back in the day. So hopefully this will solve that issue for us here as well. Because it's turned into like a bloodbath. As you can see, it's like all over here now. Like... And I'm just really not sure why I just kept on, kept on dripping, leaking, whatever. So, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna get up on the hair, turn the light on, see where possibly the scene of the source is, and we'll go from there. Yeah, so like I was telling y'all, I mean, it's uh, there's a problem on both cars. And that's why I did pick up two. Uh, I've caught myself putting the bucket down on this side, but uh, it doesn't look like it did any justice. As, uh, as you can see, Missed the whole side of the bucket. 
and is making its way back as well. So, like I said, as the car sits, I want to try to get it under here and possibly pinpoint said source of fluid that has. Yeah, I basically want to try to pinpoint said source of where it's leaking from. So let me get up and then under here and investigate. And I'll let you know when I find something. So we took a look up under there. Can't really pinpoint. Uh, I mean, it has been sitting a while. There was some back by the end of the, uh, by the end of the tail housing. Uh, but it was some also around the seal. Uh, maybe potentially if it was overfilled then that could be an issue but like i said i'm not 100 percent sure so what i want to do is i'm gonna jack up the car on this side i'm gonna install the seal uh, and then we're gonna pretty much go from there and keep an eye on it Let's see what happens. Uh, I don't really have any other. Let's see, I don't know where. Like, where did that come from? Like, is it? Uh, Cause the transmission. I mean, it only goes through the line, so. You know, we got the transmission cool up front. I'm uh, saying that thing is sealed off. It's good. It's not leaking up there. It's leaking back toward the ass end of the car. So, <laughs> kind of like right there by the transmission. So, that's why I said dipstick tool seal. And then from there, uh, Keep a close eye on it and, and see what it do. Like I said, I don't see any foreseeable reasons or issues why it would have a problem. Like I said, I'm trying to make some cool lines come up through the cut. Up, up and away. Up to the front of the car, so I don't know. I couldn't tell you to be 100% completely honest. Unless there's something that I am not privy to, then in the words of swaps, I know nothing, so. Uh, let me get in here, look a little closer, a little deeper, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, that's the return line. All right, let me get in here and get my hands dirty. All right, so we're gonna put our, our cam up here and see exactly where some of this may be coming from. It doesn't look like it's coming from there. Y'all let me uh, see. Alright. Alright, so it looks pretty dry right there. I mean, it's a little wet, not a lot. Not to the point where I would say that's the culprit. Um, but it very well could be. Uh, now this does seem sketchy, so to speak. 
this whole dipstick tube. I don't know how I feel about that. That could potentially be leaking. That could be our problem. Like I said, I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of areas. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna come back down here. I'm gonna spray it all down with brake clean and see what we can find out, but. I may, I may need to go with a different dipstick. Uh, stand by. I mean, this one's cool. It looks good, but I don't know if that's the answer. All right, so see, we got that thing backed out. Dry sweep down again. Not again, nigga, again. <laughs> nigga, pour out something for the homies, nigga. Again. Shit keep licking. Uh, so, what I did notice is that the O-rings that was on that original dipstick too was kind of flawed. So first I'm gonna try, or what I did try was a different set of O-rings. Uh, <clears throat> put a new set on there. Hopefully that'll cure it. If not, be back to the drawing board. And then as you can see, I was up over there under the C10. Uh, trying to see what the hell that's gonna do. I don't know, that shit leaking too, man. I'm just, <sighs> Lord of mercy. Uh, but yeah, on this one, it's definitely not the lines. Um, on the C10, I'm kind of confident it's not the lines, but I'm not 100% 100, 100 sure. Uh, there did seem to be a little bit of leaking. Uh, It did appear to be a little bit of leaking from right here on the shift around the shifter thing area. But uh so I put a washer on there because it was this was kind of loose. I ain't like that, so I put a washer on there. That should shift fine now and I don't know if it's a case of not enough fluid. Uh, I don't know if it's a case of not enough fluid, too much fluid. I'm thinking it's too much fluid and it's pushing it out. That's, that's what I'm thinking. However, this is merely an assumption and I'm not 100% sure, but this is, this is my assumption that uh, it's too much in there maybe and it's trying to get out any way I can. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I don't know, man. I don't think that's, well, I kind of think that's it, but I don't think that's it. <clears throat> And the crazy thing is, like I said, the car don't even be driven and then the shit leak out. So it's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? But, ah, well. Anyway. Let me uh, crank, crank, crank this thing up in the next video. All right, so now I got <clears throat> truck pulled out, dry sweep down so I can clean this up. I'm gonna go ahead and do the seal on that one, being that we didn't need to use it for the other one. We'll go ahead and put that over there. Uh, and see if this will cure uh, the leak on eight ball. Only time to tell though.
All right, so we finna look up under here. Same way we looked on the cutlass. So you see it around there. Let's look up here. Hmm, now that's something that wasn't on the other one. I wonder if it's right there. Even though they both 350s of them didn't have that sensor look like. So. It does seem to be a little wet around it, but we will see. And then there's a dipstick tube with gaskets. Like I said, it doesn't really look to be the problem, but. At this point, hell, who knows? Oh, look at here. I think we may have found a culprit for the C10. What y'all think? What y'all think? That might be the culprit. It might be the culprit. If I was a betting man, and I'm not, but if I was gonna bet, I'm betting it got something to do with that right there. That would explain why it's all right there and dripping all around if the source may be right there hmm. look up here at the lines lines look to be pretty bone dry think that's it. I said the seal looks straight but right here all roads lead to this looks like anyway. Alright so we got both of them parked back in the garage. Uh, everything is cleaned up, as you can see. So we will see when we come home tomorrow from work what the verdict is. <sighs> Hope they fixed it. A couple O-rings and like I said, with a truck. That may be a whole nother story. So we'll see.